Hello everyone, I'm Yodi, and this is episode 2 of my Minecraft Charity Play. Welcome aboard, everybody. What is a Minecraft Charity Play? Well, what I am doing is I have picked a charity, and I am playing Minecraft on a pay-to-play basis. What that means is I am paying $2 an hour, two whole dollars an hour, plus $10 for every death I undergo towards a charity of my choice. Uh, right now I'm playing for a charity called Homeward Bound, which is a charity for homelessness. Uh, it's a local charity that I am partaking in and uh, hopefully going on the 5K walk for on April 13th. So for the time being, well, I'm going to play Minecraft so I can have some charity funds to give the charity. And I'm asking all of you to support the charity. Go into my uh, info page there. I've got a link to my profile and to the team I am playing with and walking with. And you can drop a donation there as well if you want. If not, you can just sit and watch us play Minecraft. And on top of everything else, I am on a massive quest. And that quest is to build a beacon here in Minecraft. And that's going to take a while. All right. That's the catch up. Episode one happened. And since then, I've spent about an hour in game building, ta-da, a cozy cottage. See how cozy it is? Mmm, cozy. Well, okay, so I've spent about an hour doing that, and let's give, uh, let's just kind of do a walk. Oh, gee, God, I'm not used to this camera at all. Sorry. Yeah, let's, uh, let's switch that up a little bit. Okay, that's better. Uh, I'm going to give you guys just a few clips of what I have been doing, and then I will give you guys a little bit more of a tour maybe, and we'll move forward. Now with this particular sort of gameplay, I don't plan on doing a Let's Play because uh, that could take hours upon hours, um, and I just thought I would do basically, you know, an hour at a time, two hours at a time, and then do highlights while my camera's rolling. I'll do editing, I don't care, and catch the high points. Um, with some intermittent let's play kind of like what I'm doing now. If you guys don't like that structure or you think it's really, really silly, let me know. We'll change it up. But I just think you guys don't want to watch me mine endlessly for gold and diamonds um, unless there's some real danger involved or something really hilarious is going to happen. Uh, so yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, let's cut to some very brief footage of my wackiness over the past hour. And then we will uh, we'll take a tour. All right, here we go. Well, I'm going to step outside here. There appears to be a skeleton nearby, which could prove to be humorous. So I don't see him. Let me take that tree out. It's too close to the house. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Where are you? There's a zombie hanging out in the tree line. Now that it's daylight, I'd be glad to take this guy out because he's going to catch himself on fire. All right, come here. Yeah, maybe the sun will do you in. Maybe not. There you go. All right. My, <laughs> my crappy, crappy roofed house there. All right, I don't see the skeleton. I'm not sure where he is. All right, let's get to work. Well, I am out of stone block, too, so I need to go down to the hole in the ground, which I think I am going to turn into our little mining area. So let's go in here and get this figured out. Here we go. All right. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to start digging down this way. Make a little opening. There we go. We're just going to make our way down downstairs. Usually my goal with this sort of deep mine shaft is to get as far as I can to the bedrock and just see what I hit. It's very tedious, time consuming. Uh, so I've been digging down to the bedrock. I have arrived. This is bedrock. I cannot dig into this at all. Found a really nice uh, Basically a big vein of coal, which was really nice to find for my torches. Now at this point, being near bedrock um, is good, but you have to be careful. Well, you should be careful at all times when you're digging down this deep. But it's very easy to come across 
lava. And as long as you stay above where you're digging, it shouldn't be a problem. Same goes for water. But, um, <clears throat> of course, if I did this and dug this out like that, if there had been lava there, I'd be dead, and it would be automatically a bad thing. Well, a good thing, because then I would be charged $10. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Dirt is six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. We can just start in this area right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this all out and probably probably edit out accordingly. But we're just going to clear this out into a big room. See what we stumble across, like that right there. That's redstone. Fantastic. We'll need that. Do 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 do. So I am about halfway done with uh, this pick. I found a decent little iron vein here. I was hoping to find some more. But I just keep moving forward and digging stuff out as we go. And whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what I'm talking about right here. Mm. Dangerous, lovely, evil lava. Oh, crap. So is that... Okay. At some point, I will build stairs. So this is a very quick trip but for now. Not going to do it. Takes time. And, oh, hey, look. I just walk right over that in the middle of all my digging. Guess I did. Look at that. The things you find when you're not paying attention. <laughs> and then when we get up, it's a beautiful day, complete with burning zombies. All right, and skeletons. I'm going to go get that guy. Let's go get that guy. Yes. Let's have a little skeleton fight, shall we? Ouch. Yeah, cool. And I got a bow out of the deal. Did I just get a bow? I saw. I thought I saw it drop. Not sure. All right. Um, I hear you. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Zombie left me a present. Okay, so that was that. This is now, there's our wonderful little cabin on the edge of the dark hooded forest and giant mushroom strewn uh, forest. Right, so <laughs> let's go in and take a look. I've got some lovely rose bushes by the, by the front entrance. Very nice, very nice. So we go in here and voila, look at that. We are decked out in style got a bed and everything and went ahead and made some shears and there's some sheep way over there you might see them over there the sheep hello lads so they gave us a bit of wool and uh, made a bed and then down over here um, the beginnings of said garden a garden the garden got some sugar cane growing which I found over there and I just brought it over here um, and that's just now getting started which is good and I got tired of losing where our little uh, hidey hole was for the first night. So I built this little monument here, this little marker. And we got a little mine shaft. And as I talked about in the little clips, down in the hole we go. Down deep, deep in the hole. Down here where I mined all the way to bedrock in order to find cool stuff. Uh, that cool stuff ended to be a uh, pretty much just redstone. But... We're going to continue to strip mine down here and uh, plunder the resources down in the underhill. And I've got these little areas set up to uh, dig further. Just these corridors, corridors here, 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 and here. And um, we will all, I'll be working on that and moving forward shortly. So that's that. But while we have a little bit of daylight, let's go topside. And I'm going to cut up to the top instead of this constant jump and hop and hop. Hey, well, I made it to the top and it's dark. It's getting dark and that's not cool. So we're going to go in here and hide because hiding is good. Uh, the story so far has been, well, gosh, pretty darn quiet. I think I've only had to kill one skeleton and one zombie. Um, I had some technical difficulties, we will call it that. And uh, I thought it was recording, and I wasn't. I've learned my lesson. I promise it won't happen again. So next time, you guys, uh, you guys will be able to see that epic 
creeper death. Okay, so let me just hit uh, hit the hay here. Uh, so yeah, what uh, what the plans are for now is to just basically get established, and it's a new day. Handy, the bed the bed is handy. So basically, let's go carefully into the dawn here. Sometimes there are things lurking. So the general plan right now is I would like to build a perimeter fence just right around here and basically clean this up a bit. Maybe have some garden up here with a water source uh, so I don't have to go so far to get food. Um, I still have not found any, uh, found the one chicken over there, but we need like two or three. I do have some eggs, which I'm going to try and get an egg uh, coop, an egg coop, a chicken coop going over here. Because if it's not, if it's close to my cabin, they'll drive me crazy, okay? I'm just being honest here. Um, the sound will drive me nuts. So uh, that will provide kind of a steady, oh, what did I just hear? I heard something, I heard a spider. Did I hear a spider? Pretty sure it's, I heard a spider. I did hear a spider. That's a spider. And a spider means web and string. There we go. And it means nothing. Really? Oh, curse you, spider. Curse you. And over here, I uh, went ahead and took some time and built a small pen to which we are going to throw these eggs in. And we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, we'll get a chicken. Uh, let's do this. Let's do it inside the pen. Might make a uh, better sense. There we go. One chicken. Hopefully he'll stay put. All right, we will try to find more, but we've started our chicken farm. There's Hugo the chicken. Hello, Hugo. Hmm. Sort of wandering through this forest, trying to get a look at kind of the lay of the land and what's around. Don't want to get in too deep just yet, as this forest is dark enough to spawn critters or monsters. Not quite, Jesus, jumpy. Not quite prepared. Mushrooms, that's good, I guess. All right. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Ooh. That looks like a good time. Definitely will have to check that out later. Good deal. And then I believe... Oh, nice one. Good one. Nice, nice fall. Nice drop. While I'm here, let's get this sand. I want to build, uh, I want to get some glass for my cabin. As the moon rises, uh, now's a good time for me to wrap this all up. Overlooking our little cabin and our little chicken coop over there. <laughs> um, so I only get short moments to play the game, really. Uh, snippets here and there. The longest chunk I recorded, I think, was about 35 hours. Oh, oh, interrupted, interrupted, interrupted. Not good. All right, you need to go away now. Oh, see, this is not good. This is not good. Let's let's get in here. And that's going to get loud because now he's going to bang on the door. Oh, boy. Here I go, trying to wrap up a video. And he's going to come bug us, I bet. Maybe. Oh, yeah, here he is. Hello. How are you? This is going to get messy. This is going to get... Jeez. It's going to be a long night. Right. Oh, boy. I have, I have managed to call the zombie horde, which means it is going to be a long evening. So I think what we're going to do here is uh, we'll take out these two guys and then maybe book it down to the mine and lock ourselves in there. 
because these guys will not stop coming all night. Well, um, I was going to say that I played about an hour and 50 minutes, but I think at this point we're just going to rack that up to a full two hours of gameplay. Oh, hello. Come on in. Have some cookies. Oh, I don't have cookies. My bad. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to wrap this up at two hours of gameplay. So at $2 an hour, that is a meager... Um, ah, darn it. Come on. Really need to get some food going. Um... Let's eat this. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, see, this is just, this is getting out of control. This is not good. All right, folks. We may see the first death. Maybe. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's at least eat some of this. Oh, geez. geez. Oh, well. There you have it. And now I have to respawn and um, kill these guys, hopefully. Actually, I'm gonna get my stuff and make a total run for it. And <laughs> needless to say, the funds just went up. Okay, they just left. Okay, good. All right. Let's go down here. Down here, down here, down the hole, down in the hole. And let's lock it up with wood. Oh, there's, oh, look. They've joined me in here. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> they were lying in wait for me. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Okay, we're just going to go dig into the side of a hole. All right, here we go. Okay, hopefully. Um, I have nothing. Okay. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um... Quick, dig a hidey hole, dig a hidey hole, dig a hidey hole. Gotta dig the hidey hole. We'll worry about, we'll worry about getting out later. Should've grabbed a torch. Right. All right, all right gang, hello. I'm in the dark and I'm hiding because let's do the numbers again, shall we? <laughs> so that's two hours of games, but yeah, that is two hours of gameplay at two dollars an hour. That's four dollars, and a wonderful two deaths. So that now is twenty-four dollars. I now owe this fund, not part of the plan. So I'm going to say goodbye from my little safe hidey hole, and in the morning we will stick our head out and see if it's safe to go out to play. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Have fun. Bye.